Welcome to monthly news number 35. It's actually been a while since I did these, so I hope you're still doing good. Um, yeah, we had a big team here working on version 4, including video makers, so they've been making the monthly news in the past. Um, but yeah, now everyone left, it's just me in this big empty workspace, so it's also me going to do the monthly news again. And this month's actually uh, also the last one of the year, so we're going to do a recap. And Thinking back at the whole year and reflecting on it, I always think, wow, so many things happened. Yeah, you got it. Being <laughs> real, Dave, I can... But in a way, also not, not really. I feel like the only thing I've really been doing is developing version 4 inside this workspace. So, yeah, just that. I mean, it was fun working with 40 people from around the world who all have completely different backgrounds and skill sets to work towards the same goal together. And in total, over 100 people came. Um, all super wonderful, dedicated and nice people. So that has been very inspiring to just have that. But it's also just intense being with so many people all the time, such a high energy. Uh, so for instance, here, this shot shows it pretty well. Here we wanted to make a group picture. I mean, it's fun and it's interesting, but it's just chaos all the time. But it also has this high energy, so it's something very nice, but also sometimes like, ah. Oh. And just one year of that is just uh, intense. But I guess that's why I feel I've only been really doing one thing this year. Because my body might have been in different places around the world. My mind was always here in the project to make sure everything runs smoothly and we develop version 4. It requires a lot of my focus. And I actually feel quite bad about that sometimes because like today it's Christmas Day. Wait, let me actually put up some decoration. <laughs> so we have some shredded right polystyrene and some shredded red polypropylene to really get the Christmas colors going. And we have a nice piece of paper made from the Norman fir. It's a tree that is usually a Christmas tree, but also used for paper. So this is really to get in the Christmas spirits around here. See, I, I do feel bad for my friends and family because I always get so sucked into these adventures that I kind of neglect them a little bit because my mind is so busy with this. Like even now it's Christmas day and I'm recording a video in my workspace because I really needed some time alone and just finishing up my to-do list, like recording a monthly news. Check. So friends, family, sorry for not always being there. You know me, I kind of like doing these things. And it's actually weird thinking that this one year when I was 30, my entire 30 year of my life, it was just this, <laughs> gone, like what? And it's actually just weird thinking that in a few days we're closer to 2050 than 1990. I mean, 2050, that sounds like the future. So these were all the kind of negative things last year, or maybe more like lessons learned, but there are also some good things. Wait, no, actually one more bad thing. <laughs> Yes, burning pallets. You might have seen this in our last monthly news update. Burning a fire, burning some pallets. I know. And you guys actually left a lot of comments. And you guys mentioned it's not very ecological friendly, it's a waste of material. Got them hippies. And I would say, yes, fair points. Thanks for keeping us sharp and mentioning. And I think we were, it's quite a conscious decision to put it on YouTube because it's easier to not show it because we know it's not really the right thing to do. But we also, that's kind of how it went, and we like to keep it real. It's a bit like missing a fist bump from someone. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Uh, you, you're not really proud of it, and it's kind of awkward, but that's also what happened. So instead of editing it out, we just leave it. Yeah, to keep it real. Anyway, just to give a bit of background on this, um, we had 10 houses with a lot of stuff in there. Pallets, people used it as a bed to sleep on but also fridges and sofas. Like every house had two sofas, which end up in 20 sofas. And most of the stuff we got was from secondhand stores or um, it was thrown out anyway. So the people just took it. Um, but in the end we realized 
everyone had to leave in like a month, so everything had to go out. But nobody really wants this kind of stuff, like secondhand stores, they don't take any sofas. If you put them for free, nobody really wants them, because there's just too much stuff in the Netherlands. Same goes for pallets, nobody really wants them. We still have a lot of them now in the workspace. And uh, yeah, I promise I won't burn them, maybe for a big pallet fire. <laughs> No, no, I won't do it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's weird having just an abundance of materials. Okay, so now the good things for this year. Okay, so the good thing is it was very much a working year, but I also really learned a lot. And especially for precious plastic, we did so much work, went into so many details, improved so many things, uh, better machines, better products, better systems. So it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to share that with the world, which would be 7th of January in two weeks actually, so make sure to add that to your calendar. It was really great meeting so many people. It feels like we really sort of assembled the big team. So even though they're not here anymore, we kind of know if you have bigger projects coming in, that we have this big group of dedicated people to call upon. Now, and although the plan was to develop Fresh Plastic version four, we also were working on a few side projects. So for instance, one of them being all the fashion and the clothes textile industry that we produce. They say it's the second biggest uh, polluting industry in the world. So we were looking into what can we do about that. So we did a lot of work and we're going to release that in 2020. And the same for our online community platform. Also been a lot of work in the last year, which would we roll out this year. So that's kind of exciting. A lot of new stuff coming. All right. So that was 2019. Thank you guys for always watching these videos and supporting us. And uh, also thank you for helping me together to do on my list today. Uh, I still have some videos to edit uh, before 7th of January because we're actually going to release a lot of videos then. So stay tuned for that. And yes, see you guys in the next... Ah, wait, the giveaway. So this month you could win this HDPE Spenny board made from old bottle caps. So we have all the names of our supporters in here in this randomizer. And it's now going to select the person who's going to win this and I will send it to you. So the winner of this board is... Quingling Wang. Yeah. Man, I realize now maybe it's not the team making all this chaos, but maybe it's just me making always all this mess. Clean your shit, Dave.